Hi, my name is Holly. Uh, I work with the World Bank, and I'm going to talk about uh, an experiment uh, that my team is undertaking in Laos. Um, so Laos, it's a landlocked country uh, sandwiched between Thailand and Vietnam. It's absolutely beautiful, uh, very peaceful. Uh, in the office, we call it lovely Laos. Um, and, and Laos, it, it, it's also very poor. Um, their GDP has been growing uh, by about 7% per year, uh, mostly based on agriculture and... Okay. <laughs> uh, and, and exports of hydropower. Um, but they're, they're already starting to reach the limits of how far they can grow, uh, largely because their transportation network primarily looks like this. Uh, there's no rail network in Laos, uh, they don't have many airports, and the vast majority of their roads are unpaved. Um, so, as a result, um, whenever it uh, rains, uh, a large portion of their network is impassable, uh, leaving hundreds of thousands of people cut off from the supply chain network of the country. And when it rains uh, a lot, you, you have to get around by boat. Um, so the World Bank is supporting investments in rural road upgrading, uh, as well as investment in a new rural road asset management system. Uh, but there are some challenges. Uh, challenge one is how do we prioritize these investments when the national government doesn't have a map of where all their rural roads are? Uh, and two, uh, after they procure this fancy schmancy rural road asset management system, how are they going to get data to put in it when the existing processes are entirely paper-based and ad hoc? So uh, we wanted to find a way to get data into this system and build the first map using very accessible, low-cost tools. The idea being, uh, step one, we build a culture in the Ministry of Transport uh, around using maps and data uh, and hope that in the future they can graduate to more robust tools. So we used uh, three tools uh, to do this. We used Mapillary, uh, Kapow. We used OSM, Shazam, uh, and QGIS, yes. <laughs> so we took their paper-based forms and we identified uh, which fields could conceivably be used as tags in OSM and, and which fields which are more temporal, uh, like potholes, landslide risk, that would belong in, in another database. We set up a workflow where we have district level transport staff, uh, who are relatively low skilled uh, staff, uh, collecting mapillary imagery. Uh, and then we have higher level skilled staff who are tagging the imagery uh, for assets and, and temporal issues. And then we have our, our highest skilled staff in the capital city updating the open street map uh, and, and the rural road database. So the way that works, uh, step one, is just to get the center lines on the open street map. And to be honest, this had been pretty slow going uh, until there were some floods in the summer. And thanks to our friends at HUT, we were able to knock out some important areas pretty fast. And then uh, step two, uh, working with Mapillary, um, they set up some tasking managers for us in a pilot province so that uh, the ministry could keep track of what percentage of the OpenStreetMap center lines uh, had mapillary image captured for them. So this task manager shows green, 100% captured, red, nothing captured. So a quick way to manage that workflow. And this worked really well. Uh, we, we provided some training. Um, very quickly, they had collected the mapillary imagery for, for all the roads that the bank would be investing in. Um, plus, uh, with uh, some of the flooding, they, they dispatched teams to, to take, capture imagery so that the ministry could uh, quickly assess the, the level of damages. Um, next step, uh, with that, uh, we update the, the OSM tags for uh, location of culverts, basic assets, the road pavement type. Uh, and then, um, 
and this is not an elegant workflow by, by any means, but uh, the way the paper-based surveys work, you have staff just doing a visual inspection of the roads and evaluating the general condition. And this is a purely visual-based inspection done with motorbike and on foot. So we thought, if it's only visual and they're not taking any measurements, why not just look at the mapillary imagery and then enter the data directly into a, a database? Why do paper, mail it, they, they mail them and, and then aggregate and encode, and so this uh, seemed to, sh to shortcut that procedure. Um, and then next, we've been working with Mapillary on their tagging feature. Uh, they've been helping us by providing GeoJSON exports of what we tag. Uh, and we're also in discussions about adding some uh, additional comment features so that instead of saying pothole, we can label the severity and, and provide a little more detail about the issues. Uh, and then through a very like wildly messy workflow, um, we, we import the GeoJSON shape files into QGIS, we, we do buffers and then link the road IDs to, to the issue, and I know everyone in this room probably has a better way to do this, which is why I'm here, uh, so you can tell me your great ideas. Um, yes, that. <laughs> And, and that's it, so that, that's our experiment. And uh, we're traveling back to Laos in mid-November to run a mapathon and start building up the OSM community. And, and hopefully a year from now, we'll have some good news to report. So thank you.